Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries, filmed from the Stool of Contemplation, but this time from the other side of the bike to the one we usually film. So um, progress has been a little bit slow because, well, like you know, life gets in the way. Uh, I think as per previous comments, I do have a full-time job. I've also got a young family and uh, aged parents who I saw today, uh, which was great. So uh, I don't mind the odd bit of slow progress when uh, real life gets in the way. But we have, I say we, mostly Bob, uh, managed to get the gear shift gate in place and the neutral location in exactly the right point. So that's where neutral is, and you can see that really has firmed up that gear stick. There's absolutely no play in that at all. So the next job would be to remove the stick to fabricate some kind of pointer that we can scratch the underside so we know the extent of the gear shift so we can cut the slot the right length. And then the final thing will be to put the... Um, the notches in that the gear stick will go into so what we've found is that the detent on the gearbox probably needs a much stronger spring because we'd like to know when the gear uh, selector has taken the dog as far as it wants to go to select the gear but we don't want to put more strain on it than that so we don't want to be permanently pulling the selector towards us or away from us and putting strain on the selector forks so the detent the clicks in there are in exactly the right place so that the, the dogs are engaged but they, there's no force on the selector and what we don't want to do is to override that with extra force from the, the stick at the top I hope that makes sense um, but with a weaker spring in there, we couldn't really feel where that was. So the next job will be to fit the stronger spring in there. So there's really positive click, click, click for the gears. And then we can fabricate the pointer that goes on here. And we know exactly where the length of the slot needs to be. So that is the next job. Uh, what I have been doing though, oh, let me just sit down again on the stool of contemplation, is thinking a bit more about manifolds. Because as someone quite rightly pointed out, the carburetor is quite close to my knee. I'll just teleport myself around the other side of the bike to show you that. Right, here we go. So when I sit on the seat, uh, I haven't quite landed on the exact foot peg position, but some of the foot peg positions that are quite comfortable would put my knee right under this carburetor bell mouth. Now I've ordered uh, a new bell mouth that's half the distance so that will take some of that away and I could remake this part so instead of having a bit of a cone uh, there's an abrupt change between that diameter and that diameter but someone also suggested why don't you just turn the manifold round so the carb faces forward and I thought well yeah, we could do that. Let's have a look and see how it looks. So in the blink of an eye, as if by magic, boom, there we go. Now the smart ones among you will have figured out that's not going to work, is it? Because the carb is upside down. But the clever, even cleverer smarter ones amongst you will know there is a fix for that. Turn it the right way up. So as if by magic, boom, there we go. Right, let me just have a step back get a bit more perspective in that that's how it would look with a carb facing forward now there's a couple of things i like about this um, it means that when it comes to attaching this breather pipe from down there there's a few options of perhaps bringing it up into the center here and then making a nice fitting and having the pancake for the breather there just shorten that goodrich hose a bit um, it faces forward which i suppose logically you know, the airflow comes in the front through the cylinder and then out the other side and down the bike. It doesn't look too out of the way. It doesn't stick out to the left-hand side of the bike any more than it would have done before. Uh, there's no danger of it fouling the front forks. Uh, it doesn't come further than the oil tank. And there's absolutely stacks of room for knees, so it doesn't matter where I put the foot pegs. So that's... It's a possibility. Um, I think I prefer the look of it facing backwards. I think that looks nicer. But I just thought I'd put that out there because, you know, the, um, the internet provides and quite often people suggest things. And uh, when people do suggest things, it's worth trying them out. I have got another manifold and I'll just pop that on now. There is the last manifold. Now that's quite a bit shorter. And as you can see, it comes out of the... Uh, side of the bike it doesn't go around any bends or anything now that looks quite neat uh, and that would fix the issue and that would put the carburetor 
coming straight out of the engine. Of course, in their wisdom, only Bristol know why this isn't the same thread or diameter as the other manifold. That's quite a bit bigger. So um, while the threads will hold it in place, um, I wouldn't leave it there. Um, certainly couldn't use it like that. We'd have to remake that piece. So there is an option to put the carb on the side of the bike, but um, I think you'll agree it sticks out quite a way. Um, looks uh, a little bit precarious on there and I wouldn't want to filter through the traffic although it's no wider than the bars I wouldn't want to filter through the traffic with that on but it could probably be shortened by the distance of the taper so that could go but straight up to there and it could be shortened by putting a different air filter on a pancake bringing it to there so I think ultimately the projection of the end gauze of the carburetor would only come to about there on the bike but that is an other option so they're all doable it all can be done um, but I think at the moment I'm undecided that's the plan no, there's no plan, is there? Uh, undecided. So that's where we're at. Uh, I just thought I'd show a few of the manifolds. If anyone's got any suggestions, uh, do let us know. That's it for now. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.